Hey, what's up guys? Billy here back with another video today. Super excited to show you and tell you about Adam's Polishes Graphene Ceramic Spray and let you know my thoughts and does it work? Does it not? Well, here's our test. So, the first clip you're going to see is of me spraying down my car with whatever I had on it before. Um, it might have been this stuff right here. Permaseal. It works good. Um, and then I have their uh, Lazy Man, like their detail spray. So I have that on there probably, and then I know I have uh, Chemical Guys Quick Detailer, Synthetic Quick Detailer. I used this at, when I was at Carlisle, so that was still probably on my car. That was a pretty good amount of stuff on my car. Um, you know, to get it to where I wanted it for Carlisle. So, here's the first clip now of me spraying it down before I do anything. Ready for Carlisle. I mean, over here we got some nice water beating. You can tell. Okay. As you can tell, like, it beat it up really well. And, you know, there were some spots that were not as good as others on the hood. But, overall, it wasn't too bad. Um, so, let's cut to the video of me spraying down my hood again after I uh, wash the car with dish soap to get rid of all the waxes. Normally you don't use dish soap, but if you want to get rid of stuff and you're going to do paint correction, it works. It works really good. So let's cut to that clip now and see how it does. So you can tell it's just sheeting off, very slow, very little beating, and it's so slow coming off. So as you can tell, the water is just sheeting off very slow. There is no water beating at all. Um, the dish soap took off all the wax and sealants that I had on the car, and after I did all that, I dried the car, I backed it into the garage, and I used a clay bar with McGuire's Gold Class uh, Quick Detailer and a McGuire's uh, Clay Bar. <clears throat> so I used that. Didn't really do anything else. I didn't have. Uh, cutting pads for my DA polisher. So I was just like, well, it's okay. My paint's not that bad. I, I use the DA on it, I want to say six months ago. So it wasn't terrible and I don't really drive my car much. So after the clay bar, I use <clears throat> distilled water and isopropyl alcohol mix and sprayed it all over the car and I wiped it dry so what this does is it takes all of the polish from the quick detailer that was on your car and it just completely removes it like it wasn't even there um, so that way when you use the graphene ceramic spray coating it has 
virgin clear coat to adhere to. So what you do with this stuff is you take about four squirts. Let me turn this off so I don't spray. And you literally just take about four squirts, spray it all over this, and you're going to work about half a hood or half a panel. Um, if you're doing a door, you can do the whole door and start the next door, get like half of the window or get the window done and possibly, depending on how fast you're moving, possibly that whole second door done before you have to go back and take your microfiber and wipe that first door off. So it's super easy to do. But I'm going to say when you use this stuff, it's not like ordinary wax when you wipe it off, it instantly feels smooth. Um, that's not how it works with this stuff, at least not for me. Um, I let it haze over and let, let it rainbow, and then I went and wiped it back off. And it was smoother than what it was because there was no smoothness to it at all before I added this. It was a little bit smooth, but then after it cured and I worked my way around the whole car and I came back to that first spot that I did it and I went like this across my hood, I was like, wow, it's super smooth. So I let my car sit in the garage after I was done, I finished, it was like nine o'clock at night. I think it took me like an hour to do my whole car. So it's not bad. And you can see, here we go. I have their interior detailer. So that's about where all their bottles come filled. So, I have done my car once, and I did Jessica's car for Honda Civic, and I'm down to here. So I can easily get another five, four to five cars out of it. And if you're doing trucks and SUVs, you could probably get it four to five total SUVs out of it in trucks. And a little bit goes a long way. So. That is really good about this product. You don't have to oversaturate the microfiber or the sponge that you're using to get it to go on and, you know, is it going to last? So we're going to find out. So the next day I came out and I was going to drive my car and, you know, I pulled my car out. And there was still, I, I walked around my car and there was some rainbow spots on my car. So instead of pulling the graphene ceramic spray coating out, I pulled out the graphene detail spray. And figured, you know, I'd grab a microfiber and wherever it's, um, you know, rainbowed, I'd spray it on the panel and then wipe it off. This stuff works really great also. So now, it's been about a little over a week. I've put a few hundred miles on my car. So, I mean, it's not that dirty, but it is a little bit. So, let's go and see how well this stuff holds up over a week of being outside and inside and all that good stuff. All right, so I'm not going to use my pressure washer because a lot of people don't have those. I'm just going to use my regular hose on shower mode. And then we'll do a couple different modes to see what it looks like.
but then it just runs right off so that's cool it does seem to work and it's <laughs> I'm impressed with it now let's go and see how it will blow off with the uh, leaf blower okay so I'm going to use uh, the Portland leaf blower from Harbor Freight and let's just see how this stuff blows off Alright, so as you can tell, it blows off very easy. I know there's still some water over here and all, but let's fix that and I'll go get a microfiber and we'll wipe her down, see how it feels. Whenever you're drying your car, don't go in circular motions just in case there is anything on your paint and the microfiber can drag it along and make swirls go in straight lines because that will be harder to see scratches that are in straight lines than if you got them going around in circles. So it's nice and smooth. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, you know, subscribe. Make sure you hit the like button. And I will see you on the next one.